Bratz Pad. Bratz Pad. Dolls and accessories be filled separately. Batteries not included. Guess I'm happy now that I get something to work at. Taking turns standing in the spotlight. Making new trends all the rage. Finding out what we're good at. In our own kind of specialized way. We're Bratz I told you guys we had something coming that was legendary. Something that was coming that was big. Like... What did I say? What did I say? First off, before we even get into anything, what do y'all think about the new intro? Okay, it's not new. It's not new. But it's a new song, because we had to retire Missy, unfortunately. It was so upsetting because I literally made my intro to that song. Like, every clip, for the most part, is to the beat of the song. But we had to change it because we kept on getting copyright claimed. We don't want a copyright strike. And I don't think that Being Who We Are by the Space Angels is copyrighted. Copyrighted. So we just sped it up and used it. But hey, we're a Bratz-related channel anyways, so it tracks. I did make a couple of different versions, so... Throughout upcoming videos, you will definitely be seeing the different versions that I did with the same song, but at different parts of the song. Yeah. Hello, everybody. My name is Aqua Elixir, or at least my Twitter handle is, and welcome or welcome back to the channel. I honestly was not expecting to make this video for a very, very long time. Yeah, I thought that we were going to have some time to hype up the fact that this playset is one of my holiest of holy, truly the magnum opus of Bratz playsets that are out there. But unfortunately, but also fortunately, she's on the way. It has been years in the making for this video, but somehow, some way, we managed to secure ourselves the Bratz pad. <laughs> you heard me the brats pad i mean y'all ain't stupid y'all can read the title <laughs> y'all know what this video is about but oh my god just saying that i now own the brats pad i bought the brats pad those sentences do not compute to me. It does not register to myself because what do you mean I now own something that I've been wanting ever since I knew it existed? What do you mean I own the best dollhouse playset ever? The best Bratz playset ever? That makes no sense. The Bratz pad originally came out in 2004. It was done by some designer who's like famous, has done like some celebrity architecture on houses or whatever. I don't know. I tried to find some sort of facts and history or just try and do some research on the brass pad. So I had something for the beginning part of this video. Couldn't find shit. Except there was one YouTube video out there of this dude who has the red version of it. And he found some information, don't know where, don't know how. There were two versions of the Bratz pad. There was the 2004 purple version, and then there was the 2005 recolor, but also they had the addition of a new elevator. It was a little bit longer, and I think that one works on a dial. Like, it kind of, like, automatically works on its own, but, like, there is, like, a little dial that you spin or something like that. I don't know. And then the original one, you had to manually move it. <laughs> now, both of them are cute. But the purple one, that one, is the one that we got. That one gives me Bratz vibes to a T. They both do, but it's that coloring. It just, it gives me that buzz. This playset, to me, is like the Sasha Colby of Bratz playsets. This 
is like the Bratz equivalent to like a Barbie dream house, basically. And honestly, it would have been cool if Bratz did a new Bratz pad every year and had that kind of be like their Barbie dream house and maybe have done like different styles and all that. And sure, there have been other doll houses, but not that many. Bratz was not known for doing a doll house. Sure, they've had many play sets, many, you know, world building kind of stuff that they've come out with, but they haven't come out with many strictly like house centered sets. Take a shot every single time that I say play set. Even on the box, I want to say they had something that said, you asked for it, and now here it is, the first ever Bratz dollhouse. So this was like the first. This was like the one of one, basically. Okay, not me misusing the term one of one. Uh, I just mean that she is the Bratz playset. She's the HBIC. Like, she's that girl, the one of one. Like, you can't outshine the Shiner, baby. So yeah, <laughs> And there is just something about it that is so, like, it's Bratz meets real world in a sense. Like, the architecture of it is very much giving if they shrunk a townhouse from the city into a little mini dollhouse. And it's just so cool. The inside, all the little different mechanisms and features of it. So it's always been something that's fascinated me. And I never thought that I'd be able to own this. But it's honestly really, really hard to come by. It's not like all these other Bratz play sets where, you know, maybe once a week or once every couple of weeks, you just kind of see it pop up in a good condition, mind you. And on top of that, because of the size of this play set, it's very hard to see it for shipping. Oftentimes people put it on Facebook Marketplace or if it's on eBay, it's local pickup because the size of this is so huge. So we have been hunting for a very long time. And I remember things got really serious the last time that a brass pad was listed. And it was like a month or so ago, like either June or July, late June, early July, something like that. But I was gagged, it came in its box and there was like a bid for it, but then there was also a pay it now, I want to say, or like best offer. I think it was best offer. And I really wanted to get it. My heart was beating because I'm like, what the fuck do I do? Like, okay, we're just gonna really keep our eyes on this bid. And when the day comes, like when the bid's almost done, we're gonna get it. Unfortunately though, I remember I saved it the first day that it came out. And then I want to say like the next day it sold. And it's funny because um, a YouTuber, a doll YouTuber got it and honestly congrats to fucking them because anybody who scores a Bratz pad, they fucking deserve it, truly. But I was so, I remember being so torn. I remember I was like so sad. I'm like, damn it, who knows when the next one's gonna come and if it's gonna be listed for a good price because again, like people try to sell this shit for so much money. And I remember a couple of weeks ago, there was yet another listing that kind of just randomly popped up and it gagged me because it was very, very clean. It looked like there wasn't any like broken pieces. There was no wear or tear to this place at. And I asked the seller, I'm like, hey, I try to shoot my shot. I'm like, yo, because it was 150 for the bid or like 149 and then 200 to buy it now. And I don't want to pay the 200 to buy it now. So I asked the dude, I'm like, yo, what can I do so that I can get this? Because I really, really want it. And he was like, fuck no, this is not happening. Like, you're either going to wait for the bid to end or you're going to buy it now. So I'm like, you know what? If the lights work, if the battery pack works, we will get it. Because it's really, really good condition. So I messaged the seller and I'm like, yo, do the lights work sends me some photos like the next day being like, yeah, they're all good. I just tested them and we bought it. We bought it. We, we did the buy it now. And on top of that, I had a gift card, a hundred dollars. And at first I was just going to use it for a regular grail doll. Just like, you know, put it to maybe a couple of dolls, who knows. But as soon as that last Bratz pad slipped through my fingertips, I was like, yeah, no, we're using this gift card for the brass pad like hopefully it will cover you know all of it but if not 
I'll cover some of it, the funds, whatever, um, within reason, of course. And this was clearly within reason. And at first I remember I was like going back and forth. I'm like, you know, is this the, the right time? And I did my research and the original Bratz pad in 2004 was listed for $199, aka 200. And as soon as I saw that I would be paying less than 200, I was like, yeah, bitch, no, this is a deal, all right, because I'd rather be paying less than retail price than more than retail price. And yeah, it came out to like 172 bucks. And sure, yes, I would have loved to have gotten the Bratz pad for like 60 bucks at the thrift store or, you know, gotten it for 40 bucks on Facebook Marketplace, you know, strike it lucky. But there was just something about this moment and me wanting this Bratz pad for so long I was like, you know what? This is a good deal. This is better than paying 300, 400, 500 bucks for this thing. This is as if I got it in 2004, maybe during like Black Friday or Christmas or something when it's on like a little bit of a clearance, maybe a little bit on a sale. So that is fine by me. Now I know y'all probably want me to quit talking at this point and just get into the review. So in the next clip, you will see me with the Bratz pad in my hands. And we'll go from there. I am telling you right now, this motherfucker over here and this motherfucker over here are real. <laughs> they're real. And they're right before me. <gasps> wow. First off, look. Ooh, we repping Team Fenty. Ooh. Guys. Number one. And number two, now I knew that they were coming in two boxes, didn't realize that it was going to be this fucking big. Do I have the space for this? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Now fun fact, this is Monday. When I filmed the other part, it was... Friday. So it's been a few days. It did not come on Saturday when it was supposed to come. But funny enough, the package that was supposed to come today came on Saturday. And then this came today. So kind of flip flopped, but whatever. So I'm just gonna go in through this side right here. Oh, sorry if you see any skin. I This is literally a crop top. So, I was gonna put a shirt underneath because, like, the tits are kind of tittying, but... So, this is box number one. Now, everything is gonna probably be, like, hella deconstructed. First thing first, we have... This is the first floor, for sure, because I know these shelves when I see it. And then this is the back with the little boxes and shit. And it looks like the person who sold it to me, they had some stuff on here. We're going to be taking this off and putting our own. I actually might keep some of this. This is cute. Like, this is definitely, like, I want to say, like, the Flashback Fever, like, artwork. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, this is, wow. I was not expecting the shelves to be this prominent, though. Because you can really put accessories on these. God. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna need to take y'all in for a closer look because, like, <laughs> like, I'm about to cry. <laughs> I'm literally about to cry. Um, okay, what can we take out next that isn't gonna make a lot of noise? Oh, no. Oh, I'm really not gonna know where to put this. I'm. This is huge. This is 
the kitchen, like the bar basically, and it has all the little pegs for the seats. Ooh, I'm forgetting something. Gonna need this, gonna need this, gonna need it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the actual elevator. This is part one of the elevator. This is ginormous. Oh my God. Um, so yeah, wow. And then we have the steps that go out front and then whatever this piece is. This is another part of the kitchen like the actual kitchen inside and then like the footstool for the outside. And then whatever this piece is. <gasps> okay, I literally am so surprised any single time that something huge comes in. This is just the hot tub and it's the size of like larger than my head okay so this is the top of the kitchen with the lights okay we got some other pieces now this is looking what is this? I want to say that this is like the balcony area. Yeah, this is the balcony area. This is the second floor. Or no, the, just kidding. This is the second floor. What is that? I wish I had the instructions. <laughs> And then this is the bottom part of the kitchen because I know this pattern goes to the bottom of that kitchen platform. I'm like lost, honestly, I'm a little lost. I already know that this is gonna take me forever to figure out because like, again, everything is completely unassembled. Now we're going into box number two. This is the roof, holy fuck. And then this is the um, rest of the, whatchamacallit, the elevator. Oh, so the elevator only works for the first two floors? Interesting. And then, I don't know what this is, but yeah. And then the bottom, that's the light for the living room. All right, so this is the first floor, I wanna say. Like, this is the inside part of the first floor. Okay, and this little bag, we have all, like, the bar stool seats and then the shutters for the second floor. And then whatever this piece is, there's a lot of random pieces that I'm like, what the fuck do you go to? And then this is... I'm just like looking up. Hey girl, who are you? Looking like Ice Champion Vanessa or something. We're taking you off right now. That is so funny. But yeah, so this is like C. I don't know, what the fuck is in it? Something is in here. <laughs> and it is sliding around. And then there's like a clear floor, so it's like you can like look under. <gasps> oh my god, it's kind of like um the new Clone High reboot, how Candy puts the glass ceiling over the office. Yeah! <gasps> oh 
Okay. Okay. We know exactly what this is. I just want to know. Okay, so this is the outside. So then that's the inside. <gasps> mm-hmm. We know what that is. And then we have the other or the last part of the elevator. Ooh. We got the the doors. And then all of these screws. And whatever this is. Lord pray for me. just went on was not one of self-discovery it was not one of true patience and grit and there was no life lesson learned after this it has been three and a half hours 
as you can tell, the lighting has probably changed since the last time that I recorded. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, three and a half hours. Maybe that little montage fooled you into thinking that it was maybe like hmm, 15 minutes? No. Never. And it's funny because I remember seeing like other doll YouTubers and everything and they're like setting up a Barbie dream house or just like any big doll house. And they're like, oh my god, this took like two and a half hours. And I'm over here like, bitch, that looks easy. That looks like you can get it done in like 30 minutes. Damn, was I wrong? Damn, was I wrong? Now, there was a lot of like other shit that was added on to my experience that other people probably haven't experienced because as y'all could tell there was two big ass boxes and the seller basically messaged me the day that he sent out the playlist bitch this isn't spotify the place said <laughs> and he was saying like oh yeah you know i had to unscrew a bunch of the play sets so that it could fit in both boxes and I was just like, unscrew? I'm like, where are there screws in this place? I, I didn't know. I mean, I tried to find um, a PDF of the directions because sometimes you can find Brad's directions to like their play sets. And I could not find anything on this one. So I was completely lost, but it came with a little bag of, as you saw, the screws. And I had to sit here for three and a half hours just thinking, what the fuck am I gonna do? And honestly, that's why if y'all couldn't tell, my mood kind of changed halfway through me unboxing everything. Because at first I was in awe, I was in shock at how like big and huge and like to finally see everything in person. But then I was just like, how are we putting this shit together? Because there was definitely certain pieces where I'm like, okay, I usually see that connected already, like beforehand. And it's not, and it's scattered into like three separate different pieces that look difficult and I don't know how to do this. Also, I barely know how to work a screwdriver, but we learned real quick today. Let's just say we learned really, really fucking quick, so. But yeah, and on top of that, not only was it just me trying to figure out like what went with what with no directions, but it was also like I would put some pieces together thinking that I had it down packed, and then I go to one piece and realize that, oh shit, I have to put this in before I added all those other pieces. Then I have to take everything down, put that one piece in, and then put everything back. And then there was a couple of times where I misput whatever piece in. Like I put it in like the wrong way. And then I had to like unscrew because like it was screwed on tight. And then, you know, take it out, screw it back, and then put it back in the right way. Then put everything else on top. It was honestly a mess, but it was so worth it. So as you can see, this is huge. It's not on the floor. It is elevated on um, some storage containers that I have, but I was not expecting this to be so big, but let's go through it because y'all deserve a look at this beauty of a place set. Alrighty, everybody. So here is a good look at the whole entire front of the play set let me also do the sides too because this side is kind of irrelevant it's just like pretty plain this is the more entertaining side so first off we have the steps right here now fun fact you can pull these out hold on so when you pull them out there is like a little storage compartment which i find really really nice i have a whole bunch of like extra leftover nails like this extra piece and then this piece, which I'll talk about once we get to it, but it just kind of, one, two, Ooh. just closes like that. Pretty convenient, pretty nice. The door just broke. <laughs> so now that the doors are fixed, um, we can open. <gasps> Ow. <laughs> um, that didn't happen. <gasps> Again. Oh my God. Like, I don't have any nail. Like, why are we trying to break something? There, there. Yeah, the doors open. They open great. And they close pretty nicely. Um, love the design on them. This design is like all over the house too. So yeah. Then we have this little awning piece. So moving on to like the second floor. Don't mind anything you see in the background if it's messy. We have uh, number one, the number of the pad, the apartment, whatever you want to call it. I call it kind of like a townhouse, I guess. So 11333, and then we have the windows, which are like a clear blue 
um, like blind shade and they all kind of like move on their own. But then they also slide out of the way, just like that. But I like keeping them closed. I think it looks cute closed. I mean, it looks really shitty right now. I try to do it quickly, but um, yeah, I like keeping it closed. I think that it looks nice, but you can open these. And then like the rooftop. So let's go inside. Ugh. And here is the first floor. Now it does have like a cute pattern to it, which I find to be pretty nice. And then it has a lot of space. We're gonna use, Felicia is gonna be our real estate girly. Do you like her? Oh, oh, oh shit. Girl, are you okay? <laughs> like, oh my, concussion. Um. Oh my god, wait, hold up. Get into my little mini restyle. It's really nothing much. I just took her braids out and then I gave her her um, tendrils and then some sunglasses. But she is literally so fucking gorgeous. But as you can see, the amount of space from her head to the ceiling, it's insane. There's so much space. You could fit plenty of dolls in here. Um... So yeah, and then on the back wall, again, we have the shelves. Let me actually come over this way so you can see it better. So yeah, and the shelves have a lot of space, especially the ones with like the colored backgrounds because like that's how deep the shelf goes. So yeah, those have like a little bit more, oh my God, a little bit more room to them. Now moving on to the kitchen area, here it is. It's giving bar vibes to me, of course, and it does actually rotate. So as you can see, like this whole entire area rotates, which is really, really cool for displaying purposes. Like you can display it at any angle. Um, oh my God, Felicia is getting torn the fuck up today. Okay, homegirl's gonna sit out of this demonstration. But um, yeah, so it does rotate. We do have these really interesting bar stools. Um, so yeah, I don't know how well it's gonna hold up the dolls, but I mean, it has this little piece and then the little foot rest. So yeah, to me, this kind of low key reminds me of the smoothie. My camera is gonna freak the fuck out. You done? The kitchen honestly reminds me of the smoothie bar in, like, the Bratz CGI movies and TV show. <laughs> it just gives that vibe. But, um, as you can see behind the little bar area, we do have some shelving for accessories and storage, which is pretty nice. And we also have these cool lights, which, I mean, you probably saw in the montage. But let me just demonstrate yet again, if I can find the light switch. The lights do work and they're really bright, which is what I like to see. Like if you're gonna give me a light, like make it work. And both of the lights in the house only require two AA batteries, which I was so gagged at. I thought that it was gonna require at least like six, but yeah, so this is the little kitchen area. And then the missing piece that I was like talking about that is like inside the stairs now, that originally goes to this part of the playset because you're supposed to bolt this down to this yellow platform. Like, ugh, I don't know if you could see, but like this part is loose from the base um, just because like it's easier for like storing it away if this wasn't bolted to like the full first floor. So yeah, I just took those precautions so that I can easily store this away on its own. Then we have the elevator again. I think just because of like age, um, it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't move that well. I'll show you guys at the end, like once we're done with everything. But yeah, it doesn't really move the best. Actually, no, that's not the truth, Ellen. From the side, it still has like that same motif that's on the door, but all along the elevator. So here is the second floor, and first off. The floor is see-through, like, hi, you can see Felicia down there having a crisis. Um, me too, girl. But I really, really like that detail. Like, this playset, even though it's, like, big and it definitely looks like there's a lot of opportunities for dark spaces, 
it brings in a lot of light. It really does. And I think that like the clear blue glass, not glass, but you know what I mean, like the plastic all around definitely helps with that. So yeah. And then one of the main attractions of this floor is definitely the little rotating sofa. Now, fun fact about this bitch. Um, when I unboxed her, and you probably heard there was like a rattling sound, I had to like unscrew this piece from the floor because there was like a loose screw that was just like hanging around. It didn't even belong anywhere. It was just kind of in there for no reason. So I had to do all of that. That's also why it took me like three and a half hours to get this all complete. But um, yeah, so it spins really decently, very smooth. And then there is like obviously the window again. And then, oh, we have our second light. This one is not as cool. <laughs> it's a little dim, but I like that we have a second light. And then this window goes crazy because if I can get it. What was that? This turns into a bed. Hold on. Okay. So it kind of just like swings down. And it just becomes a bed like that. Like, isn't that crazy? I mean, it's giving Bratz World bed where you can't lay the doll fully down. She can just kind of sit there. But making a bed out of a window is so camp. <laughs> so I really like this feature. And it does go back into place. Let me not punch the wall out. Ugh. Okay, I can't get it. So it's gonna stay. But there's that feature. And then the last thing about this floor is the pool. I like the jacuzzi. And it's a really huge piece. It's connected to the kitchen, of course. And it is removable. It's just this little, like, tub. And on it are, like, these cute little, like, decorative pillar things. Yeah, all around. But then here is like the little battery pack for the lights down there. But yeah, totally separate piece. But that is mainly the second floor. And then moving up to the third floor, which is the rooftop. Now I told a little lie, we told a little fib. I thought that the elevator fully rose all the way up to the third floor. And I thought that it was like a manual, like something that you had to use your fingers for. I was wrong. The elevator literally is only for the first and second floor because this is enclosed. And the way that the elevator works is through this little doohickey thing right here. So you push it down on it and spin it in whichever direction. I forget which way is up. Okay, this way is up if you do it this way and then this is down. And then the battery pack for the other lights. But it's pretty much just like a big bare open space for your dolls to just kind of like chill. You could definitely put some furniture up here. It's very open. Let me actually get Felicia back up here. Hey girl. Oh my god, don't fall. You're on the roof. It's gonna hurt. So yeah, there's Felicia on the roof. Alrighty guys, so that was the Bratz pad. Now, it did not come with any accessories other than the playset itself, so we are going to add some ourselves, make it a little aqua elixirified, and I'll be right back.
another montage out the way. I swear I'm almost done. We're in the home stretch now, so we're we're almost there. But everything is now elixirified. So let me show y'all the finished product. Now, first off, we got the Tweevils. They're trying to bust inside the Bratz pad, but they know they ain't welcome. Okay, so here is what we did with the living room. <laughs> now we have all of this floor space in the front and then like a couple furniture pieces shoved in the back, but it looks a lot better this way. I mean, the chill out lounge is definitely a piece that it's awkward. It does not fit in the second floor that well. And I had it on the rooftop and it was looking really, really weird. So I'm like, okay, this is the only place to put it, but it blocks the shelves very odd, like, but if I were to like move it this way or whatever, I don't know, it's still in a very awkward spot. So I just kind of have it for now, just back up against the wall. But I did decorate. So we got a lot of cute little cutout pieces from like different Bratz like boxes or even just um, little stickers and stuff. And as you can see, I did keep a couple of things from the previous owner because I really, really like that Yasmin photo. So I just kind of like framed it. Um, and then I cut out one of the other stickers and put it on there. But it's just a really cute look and I love how it came out. And then, yeah, we just have various Bratz accessories, a little phone, some magazines, drinks, the Bratz minis, because they fit really, really good with the shelving. We got some Angel Devil Twins keychains, a little bag. So, yeah, we have a lot of stuff. Um, but, yeah, the Chill Out Lounge. And then we do have the egg chair here as well. Don't mind any of the garbage that is literally over there. But, um... Yeah, because the egg chair honestly fits really, really nice on the second floor, but you'll see, you'll see, it does not work with what we did. So I'm like, yeah, we're going to have to bring it down here. And it's just really weird having it in the foreground. So we have it pushed back as well. But that does mean that we blocked off the elevator, but it's okay. It's okay. But I really, really love how this room came out. It looks so good. And then moving on to the kitchen, the bar, whatever you want to call it. It came out so good. We have some dolls chilling. And then, as you can see, like some food and drinks. And then behind the bar, I did put some other little accessories in there. So it looks really, really good now. And I know earlier in the video, I said that like the elevator was old. And, like, it was just difficult to move, like, through the floors and all that stuff. Like, in the middle of it, it would just get really hard to pull or especially going down, it would get stuck. Yeah, I'm dumb. I literally just didn't have the first and the second parts of the elevator clamped together fully. So, it was just off track. So, now that it's not off track anymore, we're going to show you guys some elevator action. It actually moves really nice. Pardon all the noise. That's literally just the dial. But as you can see, it works like a charm. And it can go right back down. That is the elevator. <laughs> right, guys, now we're on the second floor. Uh, I'm showing the jacuzzi first because literally nothing changed. I kind of just put a towel here, you know, just for show. But we ain't putting any water in here. The girls are just chit-chat and talking shit. But here is the main event. Now, this room is very versatile. It can operate as different things, a bedroom, a living room, anything. And, I mean... Let's get this out of the way. We have the Vanity Sanity playset right here. Let's move you. But yeah, just because I had to include it, I mean, again, the Bratz pad is very funky fashion furniture friendly. Like, it even, like, says it on the box that it fits the funky fashion furniture. So we had to include this. Um, and I couldn't find, like, a better way to display it than in front of the elevator. So, yeah. But we're just going to move her out the way. 
move Phoebe too so that we can get into this back wall area. I also tricked it out and it looks really good. At least to me it does. I know that it's kind of busy. First off, we have the bed and I have my sweet dreams, Yasmin from childhood. And Okay. Okay, we're gonna pretend that that never happened, but I did swap out the bedding because as y'all saw, I originally had this Bratz Babies um, blanket and it obviously was not going to work on the regular brat size. So I took Brass World Chloe's bed drapery that was on her bed. And I just kind of threw it on there like a blanket. And then we just have like an array of pillows. But the bed is really cute. It does kind of fall sometimes. But if you angle it properly, it's a really nice piece. Sure. And then, I mean, let's get into the moment here. Starting at the bottom, um, I cut out this little thing from Girls Night Out, the reproductions, and then we have Bratz Rock Angels. I cut this out from like a little Bratz pamphlet from um, the Formal Funk line. And then we have this cute little Sasha artwork that I love. And then we have that from the 20 Years box. Again, another pamphlet, and it says slumber party. I mean, obviously this is the bedroom, so we have to have something slumber party in here. And then it says, a little beauty sleep never looks so good. And then I love me some Scream. I love horror movies, so my girls love horror movies. So that's in there as well. And then a bunch of little stars. I love it. And then, okay, this was very last minute because I don't know, the light itself is kind of boring, but I'm like, let's just jazz it up a little bit. Let's kind of make it like a faux chandelier in a way. So I just took a bunch of chains and some sticky tack and just like threw it on. And then to kind of hide the sticky tack, I put some more stars. And then like this piece, this dangling piece, I'm like, yeah, we need to have this here. No, I was trying to go for chandelier vibes. I don't know if I achieved it. <laughs> But I think that it came out really, really cute. Like, isn't that just adorable? And then for the rotating couch, I only just put like some pillows. And then I added a little stool as kind of like a table. And then we have some cute little bags here, just some props. But yeah, so that is, ooh, let me bring this back in. That is the second floor bedroom. And then lastly, we have the rooftop, which, I mean, nothing really is going on here. It's just cute to display some dolls. But in the back, I do have this random, it's very, very tiny though, but it's this Barbie Diaries couch. I used to think that this couch was so big, but it's really tiny. I don't know how a Barbie can fit on it when a Bratz barely can, but just like a cute little seating area moment. I do also have the friggin' Bratz World sofa, and I honestly should have put that there, but the color doesn't really go with the vibe. So we're sticking with the mini one, with the purple. And then I have this random Shadow High amp, and we're just gonna say that that's a speaker, and that they're all jamming out to some tunes on the top floor. But yeah, so that is the full Bratz pad. I'm so obsessed. Okay, the whole makeover in this part is happening like the next day or so. Um, but I'm wearing the same outfit for continuity purposes. We're committed to the bit. Okay, guys, final thoughts. I'm in love. I really am. I'm in love. I'm in shock. I'm in awe. I cried, I danced, I laughed, I got shot, and I had many epiphanies. But no, in all seriousness, I'm so grateful that I now have this, but it's crazy knowing that like I have my holiest grail. I kind of feel like Crystal Versace when she won Drag Race UK season three and being like the youngest winner and all that stuff and being like, oh yeah, um, I don't know what to do with myself now because I did what I wanted to do and I won. And we won here getting our holiest grail. So I'm like, what the fuck do I do now? So and it's honestly an end of an era, which is another thing. 
not brats collecting bitch there's still plenty of brats dolls to come that i want like that is probably not going away for a very very long time but playset wise i basically have every brats playset major one at least like the bigger brats playsets that i've always wanted so yeah like this was the last one. I thought that I'd never be able to own it. And now that I have it, it's checked off. That's it. I mean, there are surely like furniture pieces and like little minier kind of play sets that I would love to own. And we are on the hunt for that as well. But like overall, the major play sets that I've always wanted, I now own. So yeah, I mean, I'm definitely gonna be digging through my archives because I have filmed quite the few playset reviews. So if they're not corrupt, you'll probably be seeing them pop up at some point. But yeah, I mean, other than that, like, that's really it. And it's weird. It's very weird. This whole entire experience has been weird. But without that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I did filming it. I mean, I'm the kind of person I would always try to YouTube different Bratz playset reviews and I was always really surprised with how little reviews there are, especially with this one in particular, the Bratz pad. There are like little to no reviews, there's only like a handful that are out and even those videos like they don't really go in depth or they don't show like the full thing. Um, there are a couple but like we wanted to make sure with this review that if there's anybody who was like me and has always been curious as to like all the ins and outs of the Bratz pad, we got you covered. Like, here you go, here's the review and then some. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe to the channel because as I always say, there's there's other videos to come, there's other things, whether or not it's something new or something old, something is always going to be there. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh shit. Uh -huh.